Tier 8 is coming out in the next update, saves are gonna be broken, and Tier 8 stuff was accidentally released. So what does this mean for us in our Vanilla Plus world? What do I think about the new update? Well, that's what we're talking about in today's video. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome to this satisfactory REACT video, sharing my opinions about Tier 8 and talking to you guys about how we're gonna be moving forward with the new update. So, new video from Coffee Stain. Tier 8 is coming out in Update 4. Let's give her a watch. We're adding Tier 8 in Update 4, yay! We're gonna break your saves, yay! Yay! <laughs> Not really, K kind of, it's fine, just watch. Hmm. Hey everyone, my name is Jace, I'm a community manager at Coffee Stain Studios, and today I'm gonna be talking about Update 4, but more specifically, Tier 8. So we've uh, confirmed before that there's going to be an 8th tier in Satisfactory. We've not given any other information about that, and I don't think we had confirmed that it's coming in Update 4. But, that's right, Tier 8 will be arriving in Update number 4. Confirmed! And so now I'm not just going to tell you that and leave you, I'm actually going to give you a bunch of uh, new information about that as well. Oh, and before I forget, just a quick update on when Update 4 will come out. It's still looking like February or maybe March uh, next year, so uh, yeah. Okay, so let's That's let's April into the talk. Details. Okay, so the thing with uh, Tier 8 is we had a vision of what Tier 8 was going to be, and we had uh, designed Tier 7 to be in a specific way so that it would lead into what we thought we wanted for Tier 8. But based on feedback um, from you guys and what we've observed, our vision for Tier 8 has changed a little bit. And what this means is there's going to be a lot of rework to Tier 7 as well to sort of justify mm -hmm. that change. So there's going to be uh, not only just a bunch of new content, but a bunch of changes to existing production lines. Mm -hmm. And this means if you <laughs> if you have a late game... Don't, don't, I don't care what they change. There are two things that will just... I, the, the, there are two bad things that could happen here. Number one, if I have to redo the nuclear fuel setup, like... You know, whatever else with it, I don't care. But the piping, if I have to redo any pipe work, I'm mad. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. Um, <laughs> number two, I really hope they don't change anything with the crystal oscillators. If we have to redo the Beast 3, yikes. That is going to be a nightmare. If you have a late game factory, it's not really going to work anymore. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, so, let's talk about what changes in production lines there were, and uh, we'll take it from there. But no, no like specific recipes or numbers just yet, just an overview of what's changing. So the production line of bauxite refinement into mm. aluminium ingots has changed. This will affect alumina solutions, aluminium scrap, and alum aluminium... Ugh, and aluminium ingots. <laughs> Nailed it, first try! <laughs> Now, so I've got a little note here from Mark. I could have like paraphrased it and, you know, turned his homework into my own, just changed it a little bit, but I think it's just much better that I read it straight from him. So this is from director Mark. The main challenge here was intended to be the back merging of the water byproduct and a longer production line using a variety of different resources. However, we feel the setup has gone out of hand for the start of the new phase, which is supposed to be interesting or just different and not necessarily complex. Also, we're still looking into mm. reducing the number of refineries outside of oil production and alternative recipes. Yes. The bauxite refinement uses a lot. So this yes, will impact al aluminium alclad sheets and heat sinks. The next thing that's been affected mm. is a turbo motor production line. So the thing with turbo motors is that it's an incredibly complex part and that's good. We, we really like that. However, that sort of just means it doesn't work for tier seven anymore. So we're going to promote that up to tier eight, as I was saying before, or as Mark said, rather, tier seven is supposed to be sort of this, this, this new phase that's supposed to be more different rather than complex. So turbo motors would fit better into tier 8 than tier 7 so that's moving supercomputers and radio control units are super computers i have no comment on this i just haven't said super computers in like months <laughs> are going to be getting a bit of a change as well. So even though these parts are unlocked in the MAM, uh, they're still considered late game parts, and so they're gonna have to be adjusted to fit the new additions and changes in tier seven and eight. The nuclear fuel rod production line has also undergone a bit of a change. We're adding a new building. Uh, to update four, I'm not going to say what it is just yet, but we felt that the uh, this production line could benefit from uh, using that building. So Shiny. all parts that are uh, introduced with the nuclear fuel rods are going to be affected by this, and there will also be another production line eh. related to the nuclear fuel rods in tier eight. So you can uh, look what forward is... to that. So there's also been a change to the battery production line. Um, so batteries will have its own spot now in progression, and will have some very unique use cases as well. Uh, it will. Who else forgot b batteries even existed in the game? <laughs> I totally forgot. Uh, okay. 
also require the the new building that I alluded to before. So batteries are going to get a bit of a bit of a change. So there are a couple small other things that um, I might as well just throw into this video, and that is power consumption for late game buildings is going to be adapted to the uh, new changes that are coming. So there'll be changes in power there, and also some milestones and building costs in tier five and six will change as well. But um, nothing else in tiers five and six will change, so that shouldn't break that part of your factory. Um, yeah. Any content that you have unlocked before the update, any milestones or anything like that, will remain unlocked even if the mm. costs have changed. So um, you don't have to like re-unlock things after the update. And your save files should load. Uh, we're pretty sure that they're they're gonna load, but again, with if you're in the in the later uh, tiers of your factory, then it's likely your production lines will stop working. So you could try and repair them if you want. So some of you out there, some of you hardcore players, will probably be losing some progress. And so I asked Director Mark Chan, could you please, please give our community your top ten tips on how to prepare for this update so that they don't what a good lose question so that they don't lose progress. What can they do? And he gave me a list of 10 things you can try, okay? So let's go. Number one, don't start investing in tier seven setups or ones that include the supercomputer or radio control unit. Hold off on that stuff for now. Tip number two, if you've already built those production lines, start stockpiling those parts so that you can use them to unlock milestones or build new buildings when the update hits. So that's uh, Mark's tip number two. Tip number three, and that's it. There's only two tips actually. So what? Mark really f scammed us on that one. Wow. Holy shit. My dude. Rob. What does he even get paid for? God. Okay, so that's kind of all I'm going to be doing for this video. And just a disclaimer, this is not everything to do with tier eight. This is not everything to do with update four. This is just some stuff to tie you over for a little while. You know, we're going to be teasing new parts and buildings mm -hmm. and features or whatever going forward um, as the weeks roll by. So this is just one little bit of what's coming in update four. So I hope you found that interesting. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, consider sharing online do all the great things. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next Thursday or Friday depending on if I get my job done in time. Okay, bye. Queen wave. Goodbye. That was a lot. And also speaking of update 4, something was leaked from the update with the new Christmas update. So there's a little advent calendar thing, right? And when you have a day that goes by, you get like a new advent gift. Well, apparently it's randomized and it randomly opened up for some people to include some unreleased content. Specifically, the superposition oscillator was found in the advent calendar. So people were getting like six of these and able to place them down and see what the heck is going on with them. And their description reads that the oscillator circuit that uses mechanical resonance of a vibrating crystal to create a string vibration with a precise frequency often used in teleportation technology and dimensional manipulation. Hmm. So, accidentally released early? Or was it a teaser all along? Who knows? People got them. It's there. Now we all know. So perhaps this is what tier eight's gonna be all about. Teleportation? Extra dimensions? Can I summon monsters? from other dimensions. That would be amazing. Bruh. I think it's gonna be teleporters. Or our inventory in Satisfactory is technically a pocket dimension. So maybe we could have like a remote inventory. Hmm? Possible. Then you wouldn't have to run back and forth to your storage room all the time. You just have everything on you always. Or you know what? Coffee Stain probably has a better idea. So <laughs> leave them to it. As for us, let's quickly jump into our satisfactory Vanilla Plus world and see what has to be changed. Because we're gonna have to do quite a bit of planning with this. Already the world had to be fixed and now with this it's like, what's gonna happen, you know? All right, so it's been a while, eh guys? But here we are back in our Vanilla Plus world that we have put on hold so that we can fix and optimize things. So. There are no optimizations or changes yet to this world. Uh, this is exactly the same as the last time you saw it, pretty much. I will show you the changes at a later date. They're pretty wild. <laughs> Let's just say that. Anyway, Christmas updates happening, so presents everywhere. They're wonderful. They're beautiful. And they're probably spawning inside our factory at points, but who cares about that right now? We want to check out what's going to have to change with our world. And number one, this building pretty much is gonna be destroyed. 
This is our nuclear fuel rod production facility, and it's beautiful. It works well, but <laughs> with new machines, we're probably gonna have to wipe out definitely the top half of this building with all the manufacturers. We're probably gonna have to use that new machine instead. Luckily, too, we have prepared in the past, in case there is a nuclear emergency, to clean this building out of all radioactive material. So, we have our emergency sinks right over here. So when the time comes to switch this all up, we'll just activate the emergency systems. The whole place will be drained out of all radioactive material, and we are gonna be good to go. So this, not a huge problem to fix. And then there's all of our Alclad sheet stuff. So this is our Alclad sheet production facility. We're making, I can't even remember how many Alclad sheets per minute, but it, it's a quite a few. But we can change this all up. Like, if we just have to replace refineries, that's not a big problem. Or, wait, we're apparently not even going to use refineries, so... Hey, that's all the better. And yeah, I don't mind ever having to, like, tear things out and replace them. You know, an early access game, things are gonna change. Almost always for the better, like with this next update coming out. But there would be one thing that would be excruciatingly painful and that's if they switched up the crystal oscillator recipe. So this is our Beast 3 machine. It's the biggest machine and system we have in our world, aside from our nuclear setup, of course. But it's a pretty intricately built system where we have lots and lots of stuff going on. So if they change the recipes of crystal oscillators, all the measurements for this are like gone and it would be a awful time. Uh, fixing this one. Everything else, fine. Under the bus, easy to fix. This one, oof. What I could imagine them doing, though, is changing the recipe for AI limiters. And that means we just have to wipe out, like, a couple floors of assemblers. And that's, that's not too bad. We could manage with that. If we have to switch out the manufacturers, that is the brutal nail in the coffin, so to say. Or is it? Yeah, I was getting that question a lot, like, Gibbs, a lot of changes, lots gonna break. Are you gonna restart your world? Are you gonna start a new Vanilla Plus playthrough? What's gonna happen, Kibbits? Well, the answer is, no, we're not gonna start a new playthrough. The world's already under repairs, I can continue doing a couple more repairs, and playing around with all the new stuff that they're adding. So it's actually gonna be even better. So yeah, we're sticking with this world, it will come back, don't you worry guys. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this react video. I hope I reacted enough for you guys. <laughs> and hopefully it answered a bunch of your guys' questions. If you have any more for me, let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know your guesses again for that new machine they're adding. Who knows what it's gonna be for? Well, we know it's what it's gonna be for. Who knows what it's gonna do? Good question indeed. Also, while you're down there, remember to leave a like, and I hope to see you in the next video. But for now, that's gonna be all, so have a fantastic rest of your day, and bye bye